Yep. <laughs> We are here with lovely Chloe. She is a real estate agent here in Los Angeles and we are starting a company basically on how to build your fitness business. But we also want you guys to know that it's not just about fitness, it's any business marketing plays a role in. So we've teamed up with lovely Chloe. I think also like all of us have talked to so many just different people in our lives and everyone just wants to seem to get into business and i think we all believe that like everyone's had a million dollar idea once in their life and really this is now the time with the pandemic and having so much extra time on our hands to just get started and dive into a new passion and we want to be here to help you guys since we've all have had some experience working with different people and marketing our businesses online and in person i think this will just be a really great video for all of you Yes. Turn those dreams into a reality. <laughs> Let's do it. Motivation. <laughs> I love it. So pretty much we want to begin by talking about confidence. Yeah. Because like Chloe had said, you can have a great idea, but you need a couple things to get that idea going. Confidence and also taking action, not just talking about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And I think before we're even diving into confidence and all of that, you really need to know what is your why. Why are you starting what you're starting? Why do you want to create this business, whether it's e-commerce or an in-person business or whatever it may be? You really need to understand your passion and why you want to do that because at the end of the day, that's going to be your driving motivation because you know starting a business, it's not a, a two-month process. You know, you're in it usually for the very a very, very long time. They've been doing it for years. I am planning to do this for like the rest of my life. And so you really need to understand why you're doing what you're doing. I think also it's important to know that you don't need to know your why just like that. Like for many of us, we've been working on this for a very long time. It's, I know people that have been in business for years and their why is constantly changing or just you know, just adjusting to everyday life right, and their experiences yeah. in the business. So it's okay not to have everything figured out automatically because everything's a work in progress. Yep. It's a journey, it really is. You learn as you go. I like the quote my fiance tells me, it's ready, shoot, aim. Because if you think about it for too long, nothing's ever gonna get done. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, learn as you go. I think that's exactly. Kind of the... So we wanna ask you how to start marketing your business. Just the basics. Yeah, I think, you know, we were talking about this and you, we could talk about marketing for literally ever. Our whole life. Like, <laughs> it's always changing. And also just technology is always right. changing as well. And so it's not like what we say in this video is going to be the way to do it for the rest of mm -hmm. your entire life. You know, you got to be able to change with technology, the times. The, times. Like the pandemic. That's the pandemic. changed yeah. businesses yeah. a lot. Yeah, I think for every single business in any industry have had to change the way that they do marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, before the pandemic, uh, like for real estate, for example, we didn't just do online stuff, but we did door knocking and we met up with people. We went to networking events and there's print advertising. There's literally so many things that you can do. And especially during this time, during this pandemic, there's a lot of shutdowns, a lot of new regulations in any career in any field. And so that's something that you want to take into account. So the biggest thing before we dive into different types of marketing techniques is you need to know your brand and what you're selling. Because if you don't know what you're selling and what your brand is, there is going to be no purpose um, and the message isn't going to come across to your potential clients. Right. If you don't know what you're talking about, how are they going to get that message to? So right. you really need to understand what you're selling, what is your purpose, what are you trying to portray to the outside world, and lastly, how to be unique. Because in any, any field, any career, any business, there are hundreds of thousands of people yep. doing the exact same thing. It could be the same message as your competitor, but when you're side by side, what's gonna make you pop out and what's gonna make that person gravitate towards you and to choose you as the person that they're gonna work with? I think a lot of what makes someone unique is just the confidence to express your own personality. Exactly. So be yourself. Being yourself yeah, talked about that is so many unique. times. You don't yeah. have to be like too out of the box. Just think like, what do I, who am I? Mm -hmm. And how can I show that? That is different than yeah. Danielle. That is different yeah. than Chloe for me. And we're different than you. And we're just here to tell you that like you totally can be done. Be confident, be yourself, show up, do mm -hmm. the work, take action. Yeah. Everybody brings something different to the table. Yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, people are falling in love 
not just with your brand, but you as a person, mm -hmm. it comes down to you need to be confident in yourself and confident that you can succeed doing what you're doing and it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. So once you have this all figured out, what's your brand, your messaging, how to be unique, the number one marketing technique right now is using social media, taking advantage of technology. People cannot leave their homes or shouldn't be leaving their homes. Um, and so that's how businesses need to do it. Um, in any field, if you're an e-commerce business or if you're an in-person kind of career, you need to be able, you need to be online. Yeah. That's at the end of the day. And yeah. if you're not online and people can't find you, then you're missing out on a huge yeah. Yeah, chunk of business. Oh yeah. Digital presence is huge and especially with our generation, even the, you know, prior generations, nowadays we research people and we, mm -hmm we meet someone or we hear of someone and we look them up and we see that they have great content instantly. Instant, yeah. Like instantly you're in your mind. You're like, Oh, that person's legit. That person, I can trust them. They know what they're right. talking about. But if you are a secret agent <laughs> or a secret person, you know, and you're not, you don't have a digital presence really though. How are people going to know yeah. that you can trust? Yeah. I mean, I've Googled people before and if they don't come up, I'm like, they I must question not be it. real. Yeah. They must not exist. And it's red flag. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> no, but really it's so important to have a digital presence. Yeah. So the number one way that businesses do that nowadays is Facebook and Instagram advertising. But first you need to know also what's your target market. I personally target people older than me, people who are in their mid thirties, forties and above. And so I go towards more of Facebook marketing, but if you have a younger clientele and they're on Instagram more then you want to put your focus towards that. So it's really just understanding yeah. who are you trying to work with or TikTok if you or TikTok. Teenagers. You know, you'd be surprised, but a yeah. lot of businesses are succeeding on TikTok. It doesn't have a great it. monetization, you right. know, but you can get people to hop on over to Instagram mm -hmm. and have some sort of incentive to be like, you know, if you come check out this, we'll give you a 20% discount. And then you're right. building followers on your social media. And you know, with Facebook and Instagram advertising, the budget is up to you really, you know, whatever you're comfortable with paying when you're first starting, just do that. You know, it, as long as you're doing something, you're getting the word out there. Yeah. Exactly. Just and start. You, I think another great thing to remember is you create one piece of content. For instance, this video yes. we're making. Yes. Guess where, how many places we're going to post it. We got all of our Instagrams, yep. our business Instagrams, yep. our Facebooks personally, our business Facebooks, LinkedIn, Yelp, uh, Pinterest, YouTube. Google business, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. I mean, endless. So make sure you're on all of those outlets yeah. and that will help spread the word about your business as well. Because if you're just on one place, okay, that could work out great, but might as well use all of the options yeah. Yeah. and see what's growing and working for your business. Yeah. Creating content. Yeah. Creating content is absolutely key. You need to be creating content. Mandatory, and think. nowadays video has the highest conversion rate yep. out of everything because you're not just seeing, you know, a photo of yourself or some graphic design you created on the internet. You're seeing a real person. You're hearing yeah. them talk. You're being able to see them interact and their personalities right. and how they convey themselves. And that's super important. It has a huge conversion rate. And I think with any business, all of us, we create content that is free educational content mm -hmm. that gives value to our potential clientele. Right. And when you are giving and giving and giving, it's just, you know, the universe is going to give back to you. And I think that's so, so important is just to have that open heart and genuinely want to help people mm -hmm. in what, with whatever you're doing. Yep. Yeah. Makes it more personal. Yes. I yeah. love it. Well, thank you. Yeah. Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. Where can everyone find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at dreamliving.la and we can all put our links in the Hello. description <laughs> box. <laughs> oh, well, thank you guys for coming to our little chat on marketing and starting your business and we'll have more to come. Yeah. And comment down below your questions. It can be absolutely yes. anything when it comes to business management. Cause I know that's the hardest aspect of starting any sort of business. So comment so down true. below. We're definitely starting a series. We'll be answering all of your questions. Cause I think all of us genuinely just want to help people do similar things to what we're doing. Yeah. 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 Keep your eyes out. Good. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye.